me Deadpool. Hello. Uh, let's uh, eat some burritos. <laughs> uh. Hello. It's me, Luke. And I'll be doing a... I'm Luke's Filmboxes. And today I'll be doing a review. Deadpool film review. On Luke's channel. And my channel's... The Deadpool films 1 and Deadpool 2. Now let's start with Deadpool 1. This is a movie that came out back in 2011. I love this film. 14 I believe, not 11. Yeah, 14. No, wrong, 16, sorry. This film came out in 2016 and this stars Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Love this film. What can I say? This film is set between the beginning of how Deadpool happened, how, how, how you know, how Deadpool became Deadpool, basically. Uh, Deadpool, uh, this one has the X-Men, but not in a lot in this one. So we'll start with the character. So the film is based on the Marvel uh, character, Deadpool, obviously. Oh, I love Deadpool. Deadpool was a favourite character of mine. Uh, the first time I ever introduced uh, Deadpool was in the Marvel vs. Capcom game, which came out way back in the day, and that's what got me introducing Deadpool. Now, let's talk about this movie. Now, I know that the brand new Deadpool movie 3 is coming out soon, and it does look really, really good. I can't wait to see how they will do with Wolverine in that film, because apparently Wolverine, apparently, he's, he's in this film. This film is basically about this uh, guy who gets... Uh, it's a cure. I think he's trying to find a cure or something. Uh, I think it's cancer. He has uh, something like that. And he tries to cure it, trying to find something to cure it with. And uh, basically something bad happens. He goes into this machine. Uh, this guy puts a machine. He, go, he Yeah. He's basically lying, basically, about curing him. Uh, this guy here. Uh, I don't know his name. Hold on. Yeah. The body in this film tries to mutate him and turns him into this, re uh, this, this, um, uh, you know, like mutant, not mutant, but like superhero, like kind of character. Uh, that's what inspired Look, I'm Deadpool. But how he done it was, he was lying to Wade Wilson, which is Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, to go to, uh, something to cure him because he has, he has a girlfriend in this film and throughout the movie, you know, they have, you know, it's, talk and chat and think you know throughout the movie and then he discovers that he has that uh he finds a cure by trying to go to uh, uh the um to the person the body and basically he just mutates him and changes him and totally and he puts him in this i don't know if it burns him but in this machine where it transforms him to this the, the, well he doesn't transform but he, he he burns him basically inside this machine thing to torture him Basically, it was kind of horrible of how he turned changes into it. But the, the bad he gets his comeuppance in this movie. Uh, there's a bunch of action scenes in this movie. A loads of... Uh, there, there's a bartender in this film played by T.J. Simpson. I think it's T.J. Simpson, if I'm correct. He's a really good actor. No, T.J. Miller, sorry. He's a really good actor. I've seen him in other films as well. But he's in this film as the bartender. And he's like friends with uh, Wade Wilson, who is Deadpool. And this ain't the first time... Uh, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds played a superhero in a movie. He also played Green Lantern he, as well. He's really good as Green Lantern. Really good, really good film. That's all I can say for Deadpool number one. And that's how the movie starts. Uh, how it ends, I can't tell you too much about the movie further on. But all I can say is that there is explosions, there's car explosions, really good music in this film. I love the music in Deadpool. I think they did really, really well for the movie. Um... 
Uh, we, are, we also have Colossus. He's in this film. I think it's Colossus. I believe. The, the, the silver guy. The, the, the silver guy in the X-Men films. He's the silver metal uh, guy. He's in this film. Uh, he, he's friends with uh, Deadpool and, you know, Red Wilson. Uh, so, yeah, really, really good. Good film. And they team up to try and defeat the, you know, things. And further on in this movie, you do get to see the X-Men people, but not from the X-Men class and all them movies. It's just X-Men characters in this one film. Now, people say that the X, this this is linked to the X-Men films. I don't know. I, don't, I think this is its own movie. But they could do that. Maybe. But it, for a Deadpool, it's its own movie. And if it is, that's good. And if it's not, if it's linked with the X-Men, I don't really bother. But what a fantastic movie. So, yeah. That's Deadpool. Does he get his comeuppance? Come up come the answer is yes. What a film. So that was Deadpool 1, 2014. I don't know where this film is set, and I think the film's set in 1980s, 90s. I don't know. I don't know. I think this film's set in the time frame where it's, the film came out. But yeah, really good. Really good film. I love the red case. They did the same thing with the second film, and which is here. I'll show you right now. So right now, I'm going to show you the movie Deadpool 2. This film was fantastic. It's got a fantastic fantastic and it's got to be one of my favorite films as of 2017 i loved this film uh this is a no 18 sorry 2018 fantastic movie i did see this uh in the cinema uh no i don't think i did i don't remember i really don't i really don't remember but i remember when this came out in the cinema josh brolin as uh what's his name beginning of this movie we get to see uh wade wilson and his girlfriend uh, from the first film now what i can tell you is a really big spoiler alert but i'm not gonna i can't tell you too much in fact this is a bunch of uh, the things in this film but she well something happens to her but i'm not gonna tell what well, i just told you what happens didn't i uh, she got killed <coughs> sorry uh, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to say in this film. But besides that, um, well, yeah, that's what happens in the movie, basically. And further on in the movie, he just gives up. Deadpool gives up in the beginning of the movie. And so he tries to kill himself. Now, realising that he's a mutant, he can't kill himself. So he, <laughs> Colossus comes back, he comes to help him. Grabs him back, takes him back to the X-Men mansion. He has a little talk, they have a talk and, you know... Deadpool gets angry with the Colossus, starts fighting. Does it go well? No, it doesn't. Uh, and then the film carries on from there. Now, in this film, we do get we do get to see uh, a boy in this film. He has superpowers, and they and they and Deadpool goes to help him in this film. And in this movie, he wasn't a boy now because you know this film came out in 2016. But but basic no, eighteen. Sorry, eighteen. Sorry. So yeah. Uh, basically, um, yeah, Josh Brolin as Cable. Josh Brolin plays Cable in this film, and what a fantastic job he does in this film, too. Uh, I, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Thanos, it's not the first time Josh Brolin has now pl played in Marvel. It's now two times now. It's now Thanos, and now Cable. This is a very good interpretation of Cable. Josh Brolin plays a good Cable in this film. Uh, I don't think no actor has played Cable in a Marvel movie uh, before. I think this is the first time we get to see Cable in a Marvel movie. I think. Tell me in the comments down below if I'm wrong on that. On the Eva Luke's channel. But yeah, really fantastic film. You do get two cuts in this. The theatrical and the, the super duper cut. Even though I've never seen the super duper cut. I've only seen the theatrical. What a movie this is. So this is about this bunch of uh, cast members. They're trying to... Um, Deadpool has now teamed up with the, the X-Men uh, characters and they go back in time. I think Cable goes back in time, go front time, and they try to um, sort things out. Cable turns out to be a bad guy and then at the very end of the movie he turns out to be a good guy in the film. Uh, the reason why um, uh, Cable is out, because he went to the future and they come back to this this um setting i don't know where this is set to but at that time frame he comes back into this time frame and 
he comes back to kill Russell, which is the boy in the movie who has powers. Um, you know, I think he has fire for hands or something, and he makes powers. Uh, basically, what happens is the movie uh, then uh, has a conversation between Cable and Deadpool, and they both have, you know, linked together. And, you know, this character on the top here uh, is a sidekick as well. She helps uh, with Deadpool and, you know, Cable and so forth. And what a film this is. I love this film. Uh, Cable turns out to be bad. Uh, they have a fight between one another. And then halfway through the movie at the end, they, they sort of, they get, they, they, you know, they, they turns like a good guy at the end of the movie. That's all I'm going to say throughout the movie. You've got to watch it. I love Deadpool 2. 1 and 2, I loved. I love both of these movies. I can't wait till number 3 comes out. That's right. The story of Deadpool 2. Bunch of time warp things happen. I think, and I think halfway through the ending, there's a time thing that goes on in the movie. But really enjoyable movie. Really loved it. Uh, I love this film. I love the cast. I love the story of the, these movies. You just cannot beat these two movies. Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool was fantastic. Josh Brolin's Cable, cast members in this film is fantastic. You, you get little cover up from movies and songs. Really good soundtrack for both of these movies. And yeah, Deadpool. And I'll leave it up to Luke. And thank you for watching my review on Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. Boosh! Dreams time. So it's time to review Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. With Luke's Roboxies, who's already gone. And here's my so let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well, and this is another Luke's World of Movies and TV video. And in today's video guys, we are reviewing Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. Um, yeah, uh, so what we're going to do with first, we're going to start with Deadpool 1. So yeah, let's see what I thought of it. Okay. So, um, uh, Deadpool 1, um, the, this is the synopsis, obviously, Ajax, a, Ajax, a twisted scientist, experiments on Raid Wilson, aka Deadpool, um, a mercenary, to cure him of cancer and give him healing powers, however, the experiment leaves Raid disfigured and he decides to exact exact revenge. Um yes basically what it is Ajax Ajax I just said Ajax is a scientist uh and obviously Raid he has cancer um he has cancer in Deadpool one uh so Ajax Ajax experiments on Raid to cure him um and obviously it goes all wrong because the when he's out of that thing he gets he's disfigured um and it leaves him with disfigured uh and then he decides to exact revenge um uh, Deadpool War was a really good film brilliant film uh loads of action loads of swearing loads of blood scenes which is what you expect uh Yeah, very good. Uh, I rate this 10 out of 10. Brilliant film. Um, and yeah, that was Deadpool 1. Let's see, let's see Deadpool 2. Uh, but first, before I do that, uh, I'm going to show you a bit of it. Obviously, the Blu ray. Uh, so, uh, there's a disc.
Um, yeah, Deadpool 2. Okay, so, Deadpool 2. Uh, now, there's two cuts of this. There's Deadpool 2 normal cut, Deadpool 2 super duper cut. Um, and obviously, then there's a third cut, Deadpool once upon a time. Uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to do, obviously, Deadpool 2. Uh, so, yeah, Deadpool 2. Uh, Deadpool protects a young mutant Russell from the authorised is and gets thrown in prison. However, he escapes and forms a team of mutants called the X Force. Uh, which I was going to make a film about, but because of the of Deadpool three, uh, that's been cancelled. Well, no, no, I was going to make Deadpool three and uh, X Force, but they cancelled X Force now. Um, to try to prevent a time travelling mercenary from killing Russell. Uh, Russell is this kid who's a mutant, uh, he has fire powers, uh, he, the, the, he fights Deadpool, um, at the start, uh, obviously in prison, then to work, they work together, in prison, uh, to break out, uh, then, when they get out of prison, he raid us to fight him again, but then at the end he turns good. Uh, they've already said that he's not going to be that the kid isn't returning, which I thought he would because um, it ended with a, on a cliffhanger with uh, well not a cliffhanger, it ended with them, you know, working together. Uh, obviously in number two, uh, Vanessa is back. Um, that's right, Vanessa. Uh, obviously something happens to her. Don't want to go and and spoil that. Um, it, um, uh, something happens to her, uh, but apparently nothing happened to her. Well, obviously something did happen. Obviously Vanessa happened. Something happens to her with Vanessa. The maid hunts that man down and kills him. Um, and in number three, Vanessa's back. Even though what happened to her, I don't know. But um, yeah. Um. We have loads of ghosts in Deadpool 2. We have Cable, played by Josh Brolin. Brilliant, brilliant actor he is. Not only has he been as Cable in the MCU, but he's also been Vanos. Uh, yeah, that's right. Vanos won in um, Guardians, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Infinity War, Endgame, What If, um, Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, he was also in... Um, What else was he in now? Uh, it was he in, um... Look, he wasn't in Avengers 2012, was No, he wasn't in Avengers 2012. Well, he was in, it was at the post credit scene of uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, but yeah, a very, very good film, Deadpool 2. I was going to say Deadpool 3 then. Um, see, that was the first, uh, whoa. That was the first cut. Uh, let's see what the second cut is, which is Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut. Basically, it's the exact same thing, but obviously, all, all it is for the extended cut. Uh, obviously, it's extended by 15 minutes, I think. 15. Uh, and obviously, um, uh, we get more cable scenes as well. We get, we get scenes from cable that we haven't seen in the original cut from cable. Um... You basically get a lot more scenes in uh, the Super Duper Cup. We get a lot more, 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 more scenes. Uh, and then, obviously, the Deadpool 2, Once Upon a Time, is uh, when, he reads, when he's reading this book. This is just like a kiddie thing. This is a kid one. And, yeah, it's just it's just made for kids, really, this one. is. There's no swearing and no blood. Um... Uh, it's just made for kids. So they cut all that bit out and just put it made for kids. Uh, this is the kid cut. Uh, so I don't. I think they should. I think they will do that for Deadpool three unless they don't. But I know that Deadpool three is rated at fifteen. But I think they'll make Deadpool three once upon a time. Um, yeah, I think they, I think they would. Or will. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. But um, yeah, as we all know that 
Obviously, Wolverine is coming back in Deadpool 3 now as well. Uh, Deadpool, we're only doing this because Deadpool 3 is out in July. Uh, so, I've just started me and you just thought we'd do a collaboration. Yeah. Uh, after our next collaboration video, we don't mean you don't know what it's going to be. Um, obviously, yeah. Uh, not many really bloody things out there, isn't it? Um, so what else have we got? We've got Beverly Hills Cop um, 4 out, haven't we, this year? And Cobra Kai. Well, we are. Beverly Hills Cop's an idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I've got some things to show of the Deadpool because it's Deadpool videos. We've got some things to show. Uh, obviously, I've got the Deadpool plush. Um, yeah, and I like this plush. It's a very nice plush. Very, very nice. Let me just sort the uh, swords out. Give me a sec. There you go. Uh, yeah. There's the Deadpool. This is the um, plush. I really like that plush, actually. I really like it. It's very nice. It's very nice plush. We also have a Funko Deadpool as well. This is from the comics. This is the comic one, not the Deadpool one. Uh, one. This is a sword go from Child's Shop. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I really like that one, I think. The comic version. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, Deadpool 1 and 2. I really enjoyed them two films. I think it was... Obviously, for the time, it was good. I see Deadpool 3 might be better. Uh, it might be better, we never know, don't we? I mean, because there's something announced who the villain is. Yeah, there's something announced that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was mine and Luke's reviews review on uh, Deadpool 1 and 2. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, collab collaboration video. If you want more of them, just put down in the comments. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share. And I'll be back on with you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.